Hi, I would like to ask you a question. What's your relationship like with God? I know that's a personal question, so I don't want you to answer in the comment section. I'm asking because I know that our attachment pattern impacts how we do relationships. It impacts even the relationships that we have with God, how our spiritual life, what it looks like. If this is your first time watching one of our videos and you're wondering what's that, what is attachment and how does it affect my relationship with God, I'm inviting you to look in the comment section and click on the link that I'll have there that, that links to the very first video in the series that talks about what is attachment to see if you can identify what your pattern is. The important thing to know about attachment is we don't stay stuck in one pattern, that it changes, that we can heal the injuries that we experience through lack of connection with our primary caregivers, and we can move on to have amazing, wonderful relationships that is nurturing and fulfilling. But let's get back to our relationship with God. What does that have to do with our spiritual life, our attachment pattern? Surely we can work to have really good connection with him, even if we never experience good connection in our whole lives. We don't know what it looks like and we don't have it with anybody else. Well, I beg to differ. I think it's really challenging. It will be very challenging for you to have close connected relationship with him and you don't have it with anybody else. Let's take the avoidant attached person, for example. The avoidant attached person is used to meeting their own needs, so they fall into themselves because they're so used to nobody being around when they have a need. How does that person without healing and work and awareness of where they are move from meet the, the thought process of I have to meet my own needs to I'm going to turn it all over to Jesus? It's not that simple. And so that's why it's important to understand what, what's my pattern and how is it playing out? So let me go back to the avoidant person. You might have lots of lists because that person exists in a bubble, in a world of their own. And very extremely rarely do they feel safe enough to let anyone in. So examine your relationship. What pattern do you see there? Are you someone who is afraid of letting it feel in, afraid of letting him in? Or you're someone who through crisis, you, you draw closer to him because that's what's your pattern. Or you're someone, you're there, but you're not really there because you don't really trust him. You don't really believe that he's going to do the things that he says he's going to do. Or you don't believe that the things that are written in the Bible relates to you. You think it, it relates to somebody else, your neighbor, your friend, your sister, but you can't see how that might really be relating to you. Don't, you don't think it's talking about you. And you might struggle to understand what's the connection between that and me. You see him as distant, cold, uninterested God, even though you go to church. That's, that's really what's in your heart. And you're going for the fellowship and the community, maybe the lunch, but you're not going because you really believe that he is going to be there for you. If you're listening to this and that's you, I want you to know that you're not alone. There are many people like you who have relationships, who don't have any relationship with him, but they're going. And I want you to know that the root of that could be those developmental traumas that happened early in life, our attachment injuries. When we don't have secure connection with our primary caregivers, it, it follows us throughout our lives because those early attachment patterns gives us, it gives us the pattern. It forms a working model of relationships that we take with us through life. And it impacts absolutely every relationship, everyone. So have you ever prayed and you feel like God's not going to answer my prayer? He's never answered my prayer. You go through with this kind of um, relationship where you sometimes feel abandoned. You feel like he rejects you because those urgent, necessary prayers that you have, if, if he, he feels distant, cold, uninterested. How are you when those prayers aren't answered? How does your spiritual life, in, what does it look like then? Do you withdraw and fall back into yourself and resort back to your list of A to Z things that you're going to do to make this life work for yourself? Now, this is not judgment. This is an explanation and understanding in how we relate and sometimes how we respond to lack of answered prayer when we, are, we have certain attachment pattern. If you're the anxious 
a touched person. Your unanswered prayer, you might go fall back into doing lots of stuff in church. You might be busy in ministry, in missions. You might be giving and giving and doing because that's the pattern of how you connect. And you are feeling the thought processes that is going on for you is when I do this, then this is going to be my reward. I see people sacrifice life, careers, profession, jobs, lots of things that they would have done because they think that is what subconsciously will get me in favor. And this is what I should be doing. Sometimes as women, we struggle there because we think if I do more of this, then the result will be God will hear me more. I am in favor and I'm doing the things that I'm supposed to do. Sometimes there are people that teach it and we even teach from our attachment place. So I want you to be able to understand what your attachment pattern looks like and how is this playing out in my spiritual life? How do I really feel about God? Am I seeing him through my attachment lens? Of course you are, we all do. But there's so many places in scripture where he calls us into a more gentle condition, a more loving relationship with him, where we're experiencing him as a loving father, where we don't have to doubt when we, when we feel like our prayers are not answered. We don't have to feel like we're abandoned because that's the pattern we're used to. People leave where when our prayers are not answered, we have to work hard and do lots of stuff because we feel that that's what will get him to do what we want him to do because that's where we're anxiously attached. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says he is, he is a shepherd and he holds us on his bosom. Now that to me is an expression of a loving, caring person who wants to connect with us on a deep level. So I'm inviting you to understand your attachment pattern. Do an inventory of your own personal relationship spiritual relationship and see where the pattern is playing out in our special community we're teaching attachment and helping you with two weekly newsletters pdf guides workshops monthly to help you to understand your attachment pattern and help you to heal the places in your life where it's showing up your relationship with god can be a safe secure place where your attachment pattern no longer plays a role in how you connect or not connect where you can fall into him because you know that when you cry, he comes. You know that when you have a need, he's going to meet it. And you can trust it. You, begin, you can begin to trust the connection that you have with him as safe and you don't have to do anything to make it safe. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll join us in our special community. The links are in the comment section below. You can leave at any time you want, but we're going to be there talking about attachment and relationships. I'll see you in our next video. Have a great day.